Center City now. Uh, DeBruno's has a big... They have one in the Comcast Towers. So. I'm here in the Italian market section of Philadelphia, and we've just walked along all the carts and foods and all of that stuff. I'm here with Tom Cardwell. You're the development director of the Philadelphia Q-Fest, which is one of the biggest gay film festivals in the country. Thanks, it is, yes. Uh, we'll have about 150 films all told. Wow. Features, documentaries, shorts, some animation, some experimental films. And some parties, I hope. Lots of parties. We'll probably have 18 parties. Wow. Um, the opening night party, um, we're going to actually have right on the river. Fantastic. Uh, it's a summer festival, so it'll be great. Uh, to be able to to be right on the Delaware River and and the Seaport Museum um, actually has two uh, huge outdoor um, terraces so people can smoke and drink and dance and look at the and carry views. on. We weren't going to talk about that, right? I, well, I just meant in a in a merry way. In a merry way. Yeah, I in didn't a gay take way. It there. Yes, yes, exactly. In a festive way. Yeah. Now, now I'm in Philadelphia. If I can only have one cheesesteak, where should I get a cheesesteak? Oh, now you're going to get me involved in the Philadelphia cheesesteak wars. I didn't know there was a cheesesteak oh, wars. There. Is it is it really like a turf war battle? Oh, absolutely. Wow. Okay. It is. It is. It's a sandwich war. Okay. And it's it started beginning of time and will continue until, <laughs> until the, the end, end of time. time. And uh, it's between. Pats and Geno's, and so probably the best, more interesting thing for yes. visitors to Philadelphia to do is to go to both. Okay. Not carry the bag from one store to the other inside. Oh no, you don't want to start no. start anything. No, you've got to have a compatriot waiting outside <laughs> holding the bag. This and is complicated. The, yes, and then you come out, and then you cut the uh, cheesesteaks in half. And have half of a Gino's and half of a Pat's and do your own taste testing. Right. And decide what is the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia. Right. Well, good. That's a good tip. That's Fiorello's. I'm here with Tom Cojano. He is with the Liberty Bears of Philadelphia, president. Tell us about that organization. Liberty Bears is a fraternal organization, and although our primary uh, membership are uh, Bears and their uh, it, and their admirers, we, ha we welcome members of all kinds of areas. In fact, one of our strongest supporters is a straight dominatrix uh, who has run our art show in the past. And it's so handy to have one of those in the group. Absolutely it is. You have art shows and different events. Yes. And, yeah. One of our big fundraisers is, an, is the annual art show. And we uh, basically we invite artists, bear artists, from up and down the eastern seaboard, local as well as uh, away from the area. And it's, it's multi-media, uh, so anywhere from cake art, uh, traditional painting, sculpture, jewelry, and it's great fun. Uh, we raised money for a local charity last year. We were very successful and raised money for Camp Bright Feather, which is a camp for children affected by HIV. Okay, and now as long as I'm here, what do I have to eat before I leave? Oh, soft pretzel, of course. A soft pretzel? Sure. I didn't know that. Okay, the Philadelphia soft pretzel. Do I dip it in anything or just... Lots of people like it in mustard. Me, I like it just like just, just plain, by itself. Just simple. Right. All right, I love it. Thank All you. Right. Thanks so much. Mmm. Not even silly like a pretzel. That was nothing says Philly like a pretzel.